I have a neighbor uh, living next to me in an apartment and he is being bothered by a noise which very few other people can hear coming from an apartment next door. This fellow's name is Paul. He has a, a heart condition and uh, just got out of a month in the hospital. He spent much of the winter sleeping in his car because of this noise. Management uh, came over and listened. They said they heard no noise. He had to prove that there was some kind of noise or uh, they, there was nothing they could do about it. So I got a couple programs on my iPad. Uh, I, I got a uh, things that I'm familiar with how to use. I got a decibel meter uh, to measure decibels. It's very ultra sensitive and uh, can hear breathing, it can hear the heartbeat. Uh, I got a oscilloscope uh, with some measuring tools and uh, I got a, a tone generator, uh, accurate tone generator to be able to uh, test Paul's hearing and when I did discover the noise to find out exactly what frequency of that noise was at. I have a spectrum a meter which will show the uh, complete audio spectrum and noises that cannot be heard. It will show them on a, a graph similar to an oscilloscope. So if there's any spike in noises, and we did indeed discover a spike in noise. Um, I recorded those, that spike in my camera. I recorded it on the decibel meter. It was at uh, 1694 cycles per second megahertz. 1694. So I set my tone generator. I set my tone generator for uh, 1694 and I played with uh, harmonics and uh, of that number and I played with uh, octaves of that number because I'm assuming this. I and, and I ended up that I could actually hear this noise and I recorded it. I'm going to try and enhance that noise. Now some people are much more sensitive to noise than others. Paul is one of them and it's causing him a medical condition which may indeed kill him. So I think this is important. Nobody else seems to be wanting to do anything about it so I figured I'd stick my nose in. And uh, I'll show you some of the things here that, uh, that we've done. As we're going along I've shown you some of the things and I'll keep you informed. This is just sort of a note for me and, I, and putting it on the net in case it becomes a, a legal issue. Thank you, Bob Shannon. As I said, this is a uh, time we have 1110, January, February, March 7th, 2011.